Thank you, sir. How many of you want to see another magic trick or illusion instead of hear me talk? <laughs> just, just me. All right, um, what's going on? I'm gonna do like a this kind of a thing for next slide, just make it really easy. So, uh, my name is DJ Saul. I'm the vice president at Strategy Labs. We're a local digital and creative agency right in DuPont Circle. I'm here to talk to you about Grandstand. That's our first real product that we're rolling out. Grandstand is a web application that transforms social and mobile, so check-ins, tweets, likes, and SMS into real-time gaming and pricing platforms, allowing any venue with a display connected to the web, such as this, the ability to run promotions, drive ad revenue, and encourage the social sharing of their brand. Yeah, nice. Uh, how many of you here are actually from DC, live in DC? Most of you. Did anybody go to any DC Week events or have you been to a DC Tech Meetup? You may have seen this up. So this was our first real Twitter visualization. So what this is doing is showing volume, velocity of Twitter with the DC Week hashtag, uh, as well as clout, pulling in from clouds so showing influence. Every 15 seconds, a new uh, tweet will come in with rich media tagged to it. So this is sort of an alternative to the, to the Twitter fall. Uh, this does not show up very well, but uh, what this was was uh, an interactive installation we did for Volkswagen in Wolfsburg, Germany. So this is seven custom applications pulling from Foursquare, Flickr, Facebook, and Twitter, visualizing them in a new and interesting way, uh, such as a rotating globe with geocoded tweets pulling from a specific mention, or a heat map of Foursquare check-ins at airports and train stations around the world where you can drill down by continent. These are all controlled by 22-inch touchpads. So imagine this on projected anywhere, whether it's an iPad on the wall, or on a jumbotron at a sporting event, or a movie theater screen, uh, or of course, behind me at an event like this. So this is the first real game boards, and those were visualizations. The game boards we created are what I think you guys are going to be slightly more interested in. So uh, these, you can't quite tell, but these are individual cubes on a grid. So what happens when someone checks into a specific venue? It's going to flip a tile to reveal something behind it. So imagine starting off a scavenger hunt by 200 people checking in in order to reveal the map itself, right? So tapping into that group buying mentality of there's a mass reward or something will happen if X number of people do something. That something happens to be the stuff that you guys are already doing. Tweeting, retweeting, liking, checking in, texting, stuff like that. Uh, so this was launched out in the wild. We did it for Pinkberry, a client of ours. So we did this at the DuPont Circle store opening. Instead of flipping a tile behind it, we built the grid of avatars. So you could see yourself up on the screen. Uh, this is something we're developing more for, for large scale, so concerts or, or sporting events, but it could really work anywhere. So I, I was sitting there and I was thinking, this grid is cool, but what if we got off the grid? So there's these bonus winners down here where you check in, all of a sudden your, your Foursquare avatar shows up here, your name shows up there, you've all of a sudden won tickets or uh, you know, a, a free uh, magic lesson or whatever it is. Uh, the, anybody at the DC Tech Meetup like two months ago, I launched this up on stage where the more people that checked in, the higher value of an open bar was unlocked. So I think we went from like 10 check-ins to 30, or sorry, to 85 in like 30 seconds. Uh, we're, not for, we're not fixated on Foursquare, it's just really fun to innovate on right now, but imagine any input uh, would trigger this mechanism. I guess I'll kick it into third and fourth gear. Simple uh, game board that we developed with a credit card, so like outdoor advertising or on the side of your event projected on the wall where your sponsors paid for this gift card, Bed Bath & Beyond, all of a sudden 200 people check in, one person wins, they've all of a sudden won the gift card. Uh, bingo, so thinking about your entry into an actual game board, tic-tac-toe or Connect Four or whatever it is, uh, this is your entry into the game, you've now unlocked everything, go for it. Uh, this is just a fun Facebook uh, contest you get up on the wall, I'm just going to keep doing this. NPR music, so this is like a real-time polling and voting mechanism. This can be showed anywhere, and I believe the last slide just says what we're working on now. The physical manifestation of social media, so the ability to have a check-in actually trigger the unlocking of, a, of an ice chest or a lockbox or whatever it is, again, for that, that real cool physical interaction that your sponsors at your events are, are paying for. Uh, we're working on the self-service platform, so the Twitter visualization you saw for DC Week, you'd be able to input but you're in your own mentions or hashtag and have that up with your own colors or branded logos and sponsors and I'll stop talking now. Thank you very much.